This looks strangely familiar. Hey, oh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I got 14 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got three new and five updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got five new and one update. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have Suznovka by GTX. Agriculture is one of the most important industries in Eastern Europe. The wide, flat landscape is ideal for managing large fields. Farm near Suznovka emerged from a farmer co-op. Even today, the village puts out much emphasis on self-sufficiency through animal husbandry and cultivation of fields. Widespread nearby forests are furthermore suitable for fertile forestry. Now, this was a base game map in FS17, and I believe it was a DLC for FS15. Don't quote me on that, because it was actually before my time playing in Farming Simulator, so I don't actually know. But nonetheless, Suznovka for Farming Simulator 19 is here, so let's take a look at the PDA. I've been told that this is the exact, if not almost, exactly the same as FS17, which is pretty darn cool. That's pretty awesome. Check this out. There you go. All right, all right. Uh, looks different to me, but then again, I didn't play it on FS17, so I don't know. So through here, what do we get when we start off? Well, you get uh, your main farm area, get field 19, the 14, and a house area, which is right here. Let's see, all the way down. Of course, you got your shop over here. I remember Mr. Silly B doing all, if not most, of his... Uh, mod videos back in FS17 right here. I <laughs> love that very, very much. So what do you get when uh, when you do New Farmer? Well, you get Armor Track, you get a star, you get the Bison, you get a Tipper, a Header, Cultivator, Cedar, you get a Fertilizer Tank, and a Seed Tank, as well as a uh, main silo holds 250,000 liters, which is right there. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It's a good looking map. It reminds me a whole lot of Soznovka. We do get a few little things here and there, but for the most part, really like this. This looks super cool. Let me know, did you play Soznovka in FS17 or 15, I think? I don't know. And the, <laughs> if you did, you plan on playing it in 19? Let me know. And we've got another new map for you for all platforms today, and this is Grasslands by Steve's Mods. Welcome to Grasslands. This map is based in the UK, has all Farming Simulator 19 features, has around 70 fields of all shapes and sizes. The map is seasons ready. Please seek permissions to use anything on the map. Just contact Steve's Mods on Facebook. Pretty easy to get a hold of. There might be an update in the near future for this for seasons as well. So keep that in mind. As a large forestry area on the map, the chicken yard as also a contractor's yard. So that's pretty cool. Map has great views. Thanks to Oxygen, David, Lancy Boy, Bullet Bill, GB Modding for the help on all the models. And thank you to MJ Modding for letting him finish this map and release it. Awesome teamwork going on with those guys. Also, I want to thank Steve's Mods for allowing me and A2 Studio to get on here and act like a bunch of goopers for two hours a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we had a ball. We've already done a full live stream on this map, and it is an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful map. So let's take a first look. Let's go through our standard procedure here, and it is going to be, what do we get in New Farmer? Well, you get actually quite a bit. Steve has hooked you up. Look this up. Yeah, got to hook up, baby. So we've got field 66, 61, 25, 26, and 52, as well as the main farmyard. And we get a massive field down here near 42. Now, the question would be, what is in all of those? Well, the bottom left-hand corner, field 42, that is going to be a grass field. You've also got grass in 26 and 25. What were the other ones we got? It was 66 up here. And then 61 and 52, those are going to be your standard crop fields. So those are cultivated for you, though you will need to plow them up. As you can see, well, pretty much everything needs to be plowed, at least for the things that you own. So do keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool map. Your forestry area is up here. You got multiple different farms, including a sheep farm there. You have your pig farm down here. You have a cow farm almost smack dab right in the middle right there. BGA, center north, and then you've got a small chicken area right there as well, plus horses. Yeah, got horses. And then your main uh, shop area is down here. And you may be asking yourself, DJ, 
What do I get? Tell me what I get. Well, <laughs> a lot. Sit down and relax. We get a John Deere 6R. We get the Fent 1038. You get a JCB Fast Track 8330. John Deere 7R. You get a Massey Activa 7347. This is one of the best starting combines I think you can have. You also get a couple different tippers. You get a header, plow, cultivator. You get a direct drill. Uh, which is a very good direct drill. You also get uh, spreaders, uh, fr front and backs, tanks, and a uh, normal fertilizer sprayer as well. Front and rear mowers, tether, windrow. You also get a loading wagon, round baler, food mixer, um, a straw blower, water tank, front loader for your John Deere 6R, bucket for that, bell spike, header trailer, and your large grain silo. Goodness gracious! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> If you guys want to see this in detail, go check out the live stream that we did a couple weeks ago with A2 Studio. Uh, just type in DJ Goham A2 Studio Grasslands and you should be totally fine. I will tell you that uh, Steve posted on his Facebook page earlier today saying that his map Glazebrook did fail testing. There were a few things with that. If you want to go check that out, go check out Steve's mods on Facebook again. Um, actually, you can probably check him out. Uh, I was linked a few days ago and farm some news as well. And your only other new mod for all platforms today is going to be the dairy. This is a dairy with better selling prices than you would standard get in game, but milk already pays pretty good. So, hey, place one of these downs and get even better prices. Price for you will be $40,000. Daily upkeep, $30 per day, and it is seasons ready. Best of the best. Nothing wrong with that. I love it. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. And first, we have the SIP Disk 260. This is going to be changelog 1.1. Added a three point component movement, which improves the terrain adaptation. So it goes ba boing ba boing when you go over bumps. We've got an update to La Cornella 2.0. You've been waiting on this one. And it is changelog 1.1. The prices of the products produced by the factory pack have been adjusted. And an update to the original La Cornella. And you probably guessed it change log 1.1 the prices of the products produced by the factory pack have been adjusted speaking of the factory pack we've got version 1.1 for them as well the trigger of the delivery points for several factories has been adjusted looking for a better operation the productions of the factories has been adjusted because some of them generated losses in the economy which is not good at all triggers of some of the products were improved since some of them were not recognized by uh, the point of sale and info XML file has been added with the necessary data to make any map compatible with the factory system. In this file, they briefly explain the steps to follow it in the correct coupling for the map. It's translated into English, German, French, and Spanish. If you're the creator of the map and it is published on ModHub and you want to add this file to your map originally, just ask for a small appointment in the description of your mod map next to the change log. So do keep that in mind. Also, don't be afraid. Shaba is super cool and super awesome. Um, the VSR mod team as a whole are really, really cool dudes. They're actually doing some really neat stuff right now. So go check them out. Really cool dude. And we've got an update to the refillable IBC tank magic fill. Hey, oh, right here. Here you go. This is changelog version 1.1. Minor fixes have been done in the description of the description. Added new store options. So the choice of fill types and whether they spawn filled or not in conjunction with decals also changed. So you can now be filled with overload function from the trailers. While it's not necessary, it's recommended that you sell all current tanks that you have on your game safe before installing this version. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First, we have the Real Mud mod. So this is dirt and mud fill types that have been added to the game, which allow players to create mud by buying a dirt fill type and watering it with a water trailer. Additionally, the mud FX system, which supports the vehicle wheel sinking, it's included the mud particle system, mud physics, and more. It's added to the game. Dirt is purchased from the included dirt fill station with the mod, and mud is created by watering that. Watering a pile of dirt turns it into mud. Hey, it all makes sense. It can be scooped up and transferred. Move it wherever you want to. A special water trailer is included with this, as was mentioned, so that is really, really neat. And mud activates the mud FX system anytime, regardless of rain and environment. Being in a field during rainfall will activate the mud FX system and will treat the entire field like mud. And this, it just goes on forever. This is a very, very, very in-depth mod. However, if you want to remove it, there are some caveats. So what I highly recommend is check out the description and check out all released mods 
check that link go in find the real mud mod by viper gts 96 if you're on pc to check that out in depth speaking of we've got another mod from viper gts 96 today and that is the instant wash instantly wash your vehicle and all attached tools with the press of a chosen button water splash effect and sounds have been included with this and the default key is insert which i think is a perfect key for this we've got a new tow chain for you and as far as i can tell this is the only tow chain that we have on the mod hub for pc and mac players we've got a tow bar this is the first tow chain and it even comes with a hook with this mod you can tow vehicles by towing chain you can also mount the towing hook to vehicles that have no attacher and then attach the towing chain to this hook which is very very good attach the red end to your vehicle and then attach the second end to the towed vehicle you can attach the towing chain to itself when no vehicle is in range it can be used for transporting it around there's a whole lot to this mod, so just like the Mud mod, if you're on PC and you want to check this out in further detail, I highly recommend that you check out the link in the description below and go check it out, or just download it and use it however you like. It's a really cool mod, and it is very in-depth. It's more than just a chain. We've got the Lone Oak Workshop. This is by GeForce Modding, brought to you by Oxygen David Bullbill and Lone Wolf. Proud to present everyone the Lone Oak Farm Workshop. Massive shop can hold any and all equipment that you have and still have room left over. Attached to the main shop is a workshop area with additional storage and an office with a break room. This season's ready. Price is $69,000. Hey, it is available on PC and Mac only at this time, though knowing GeForce modding, I'm sure they're going to try and get this out on console as well. I will try to make contact with them and confirm that for you guys, hopefully in the live stream later today. And our last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Normad Valor Max A72 150 RS. Goodness gracious, I just butchered that super, super hard. This right here is a wood crusher, ideal for crushing wood and producing wood chips. Kind of looks like the one that we've got in game, but nonetheless, price $64,000, max speed seven kilometers per hour or about four miles per hour power is at 530 horsepower <laughs> yeah this thing's got that much horsepower but don't get excited you're not gonna be jumping oh i got an idea we should totally jump this that would be sweet you could do wheel configurations and those are trailer board lizard michelin and back to trailer board again is that four or four yo nice and uh that's about it that's everything with this mod otherwise uh, if you're used to using this guy right here something tells me that it's almost identical. And as was mentioned, we have one mod update for PC and Mac players today, and that is going to be the HUD Smart Shade, or the HUD Smart Shade. And it's changed log 1.6. The issue has been fixed of the previous update redone background with scaling on weather icon count. There you go, there's your update. And with that comes the end of today's mod video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you are new, and make sure you turn your notification bells on so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Oh yeah, join the Go Ham fam. All that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.